What is up guys? This is part one of a muscle control series that I wanna give to you guys, teach you how to develop a better connection with your body, with your muscles, which can correlate with doing the mums wave, with having control over you know each individual muscle, which can also translate to more gains. Now, if you're able to really feel that muscle and focus on it while you're lifting, you're gonna be able to contract it better. You're going to be able to recruit more muscle fibers and this will in turn lead to more gains. Now, the biggest thing that people always ask me is how to do the Munns Wave. And I've already done two tutorials on this so far. So I'll do another one later on in the series. But I recently put out a viral video where I was flexing each individual muscle, my shoulder, my chest, and really focusing on each of them. Because normally when you're trying to do that, you're very inclined to flex your entire arm or if you're trying to do your tricep, it's easy to try to flex just the bicep and the tricep together. And as far as isolating it, it can be a little tricky. So to start off, I want to talk about getting that connection with your tricep to be able to really feel and be able to contract it. So for example, when you're doing push downs, that's moving your tricep. You're using your tricep and it shortens as you push. And then as it comes up and your arm bends, it lengthens. So if you wanna develop that connection while you're doing push downs, while you're doing any tricep exercise in general, focus on your tricep. Keep your mind in the tricep. Build that mind-muscle connection. The next thing you can do is focus on flexing and trying to flex the tricep as you move it. It can help if you extend your arm and you flex it as you try to get that tricep to flex. So when you first try this, it's very easy to flex and you're gonna be flexing the bicep and it's gonna be hard to isolate just the tricep. So what helps is to fully extend your arm, feel that tricep contract, feel it squeeze fully and get a feel for where you feel that. And then, you flex the tricep. So you do a full squeeze, really feel where you feel that, and then focus on trying to flex that part of the body. It helps to have your arm slightly bent as you try to flex that tricep. And it's gonna take time. The best way to learn this is through practice. Now I have a much better connection with my right tricep because I've spent a lot of time flexing in the mirror and trying to perfect it. So with my right side, I can do it straight, relaxed, anything. With my left, it's a little harder because I haven't tried to purposely build that connection as much. So when I do that, you'll see my bicep move a little bit, my shoulder move a little bit. And in order to improve that, it's just gonna take practice, trying to flex it. You have to literally sit there and focus on trying to squeeze it. You don't get a good mind-muscle connection just like that. It's literally repetition, like anything you need to practice to improve it. So practice flexing in the mirror, really just trying to feel it and just keep at it. Eventually, you'll be able to flex it on command no matter no matter how bent your arm is but with a slight bend is when it's usually easiest to feel it you can eventually not only flex it but you can try to roll it so basically when I'm doing that when I do this basically when I'm doing this I'm focusing on flexing my lateral head of the tricep the tricep is made up of three heads and so when I'm doing this I'm flexing the lateral head now when it goes back, I'm focusing on flexing the long head of the tricep. And so this takes even more practice to develop. As you can see, I can't really do it on my left side because I haven't practiced it there. But with enough practice, you'll eventually get it. The first thing is you want to be able to isolate it, though, before you can move on to anything more advanced. And then once you build up that connection, and of course, the more muscle you have, 
the more you'll be able to feel that connection and feel it working. Eventually, you'll be able to roll it. So I'm focusing on the lateral head and then the long head. And I do them in repetition. That's like a little tricep wave. Tricep mum's wave. Eventually, it'll get smooth and you'll be able to just roll it. The other thing is, as you're working out, you focus on that muscle. In between sets, you focus on squeezing that muscle, flexing it, driving that blood into the muscle and really focusing on it. And that's how you're gonna build up that connection even more. If you're having a hard time feeling your tricep in the first place, try doing some high rep tricep work. Really get that burn feeling. And the day after a triceps workout, you can do a bunch of high reps as well to really try to feel where your tricep is when you're working it. This will also help you build up that connection. But overall, it's just gonna be practice. You just gotta keep practicing, focusing on trying to flex it, and eventually you'll develop that mind-muscle connection. So let me know what you guys think. If you enjoy this muscle control series, I'm going to be going over the other body parts. So make sure you are subscribed, turn on your post notifications. That's going to really help me out, help out the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. That also helps out the algorithm. Much love to you guys as always. And let's get these gains.